The virtual drummer here in GarageBand is fantastic. It lets you create realistic sounding drum patterns without all the effort. But what if you wanted to change the drum kit that your drummer is using without changing the drum pattern? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today where I help you create, record and release your best music. And at the moment, I'm working on a new track here in GarageBand on my iPhone and I'm trying to get the drums sounding right using Drummer, but they're just not working for me. So at the moment, we're coming here to my Drummer. You can see here that I've got all my drum patterns laid out and I like the drum patterns that I have, but I don't like the drum sound. If we tap in the top left here, you can see I'm using Darcy and that it's gonna be using Darcy's default kit. Let's just take a listen to how this song is sounding and I'll let you know what I'm not liking. Told me son you'd better dance while you've got the so it's not terrible, but that kick drum is just really flat. It's really not adding. It's not the right sort of kick drum. So I want to actually change up this drum sound. Now the first and most easy way to change up your drum sound is to actually switch out the drummer. So we can do that by tapping in the top left here, tapping on Darcy's name, or if you're on the iPad, it'll be right in the middle. And then we can select any of our other drummers. So why don't we grab Gavin down here in our alternative drummers. We'll tap on Gavin, and now it's gonna change to Gavin. And if we tap in the top left here, you can see Gavin's now on drums. The problem here is though, that it has actually changed all of these patterns as well. So if we just take a little bit of a listen here, you'll hear that we've got a very different pattern in our drums. Mother told me, son, you'd better dance. So it's not completely different, it's okay, it'll probably fit all right, but what if, instead of doing this, I wanted to actually use the exact same drum pattern, but simply change the drummer sound, so change the drum kit that's being used with drummer. Well, we can do it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is undo to make sure that we are back to our original Darcy drummer track. We'll just tap on the drummer icon in the top left, we'll tap the, dro tap the drop down, and there is Darcy, and there's our original drum patterns. Now, what we can do from here is we can tap on this original drummer track and we can tap on duplicate and now we've got a duplicate copy of this original drummer track so if we go into our plugins and EQ it's going to be set up the same now sometimes your plugins and EQ settings won't carry across from one drummer track to another you may need to dial them back in it looks like it's worked okay this time now the next step is to copy and paste our drummer patterns into this drum track but before we do that we need to select which drummer we're using so let's go back to our drummer icon in this second blank drummer track we're going to tap in the top left tap on Darcy and let's throw someone else just for fun let's put Anders because he's using a massive sounding kit and it's going to be a more distinct difference between these two and you never know it might just work out okay so we'll tap our track view again to come back to here now because we've got a gap we need to do this in two chunks so I'll just do the first chunk here we'll tap outside and drag over all of these patterns here for Darcy we're then going to tap tap again and tap copy that's going to copy those to our clipboard. We then need to find the very start of this drum track. Tap on there, tap our new track, and tap again and tap paste. Now you can already see that the patterns here are exactly the same, but if you look at these drum icons, you can see that we have the two different kits being used. We have Darcy's kit there, and then we have Anders' kit here. And all the drummers line up with different types of kits. It's a little bit confusing, so I don't have all of the details of which drummer have which kit, but a bit of trial and error is gonna help you out. So let's now solo these drums. Let's take a listen to firstly Darcy's drum track here. We'll solo Darcy, and and take a listen to what she sounds like. And now let's take a listen to Anders playing this exact same pattern. So very, very different sounds. And I have realized here that where it changes your plugins and EQs here is when you actually switch drummers. So I will have to come back in here to plugins and EQ, go to edit, add back in my FAC Maxima plugin and just dial in the settings here a little bit just so that we get these sounds sounding similar. So let's just take a listen to these two. Again, I'll just find a different section to give you a bit of an idea. We'll come in here into this section. So here's our original drums with Darcy on her kit. And let's switch that up to Anders on his heavy hitting kit. Mm -hmm. 
So this hasn't really solved the problem because I don't like the kick drum on Anders' kit either. But what I can now do is I can actually come through and use that same process. We can just undo that. And then I can use the same process by changing, firstly, the drummer, by tapping on drummer here, changing this to whichever drummer I like. I could try any of these. Now, keep in mind that if you switch it to an electronic drummer or to a percussion drummer, you may get some pretty wacky sounds because you're not going to necessarily have the same kit pieces in the same places. But you might get something very cool and experimental. So that is it. We can change our drummer, but this is another way to keep your original drum patterns if you really like the drums that you've got in there, but you just want a different drum sound here in GarageBand. And there you go. I hope you found this useful and interesting and can use this in a future project of your very own. If you've got any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave those down below and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks for sticking around. If you would like to check out some more videos all about the awesome virtual drummer here in GarageBand, there are two linked right down below right now. You can also subscribe to the channel by tapping or clicking on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right corner or head on over to studiolivetoday.com for even more audio goodness.